you about cheese. My name is Randall and today we are going to make it queso. Not just any queso, we're going to be making beer cheese queso. That's right. Smoking about cheese, no more beer cheese spread. Better known, better made. Uh, if your local grocery don't have it, please ask for it. Uh, thank you. So we're going to start out with a about a half a pound of ground cooked sausage. I prefer Swaggerty's. Uh, that's just my preference. You know, I like quality sausage, and they sure do uh, put that out. And also, we have got a, a 10 ounce can of Rotel that's been drained, drained really well. You get all that extra juice out, and I'm going to show you a real quick secret. So, I take my can of Rotel, open the can, put it in my, my colander here, put it in the sink. And what I'll do, I'll take a saucer, just a regular coffee saucer, and lay in there. And I just give it a nice push, get that extra juice out of there. So we got our sausage here crumbled and cooked. All right, now next we're going to go ahead and put in our uh, no more beer cheese spread with jalapeno because I like a little spice. And our guests today do too. Be ready for some football. So tailgating, this is a huge hit. Friends coming over, uh, very good appetizer, and it's it's really simple. You know, you really don't want to spend all your time in the kitchen entertaining your guest. You want to be in there with your guest. So we're going to get our no boil beer cheese spread and right over top of this uh, cooked crumbled sausage. Okay, now we're going to put in our rotel. Like I said, you don't see no juice in there, so we got that pre-drained pre pretty well. Get that in there. Okay, now we're going to give this a, just a nice little stir. Get all the... It's good flavor uh, mixed in. Uh, this is only going to take about a, about a minute in the microwave. So, minute, stir it up, because you don't want it so hot it's going to burn the roof of someone's palate. Then they won't be able to taste the rest of the fine food you're going to make. So, give us a nice little stir. Oh yeah, it looks good. Yeah, see that, see that folks? Look at that. Nice and thick. It's going to sit well in a scoop. Okay, now we're going to pop this in the microwave and see what it looks like afterwards. Alright, our queso has just come out of the microwave. Uh, about a minute and a half is what I had to hit on this and this is looking delicious. I mean, this has just got all kinds of awesome written all over it. So let's go ahead and get this out, put it in a bowl and serve it up and see what our guests think. So, so and I like my queso kind of thick. Uh, that way it holds to a a tortilla or a scoop uh, real well and you know you could lay this over a, you know, a little baked potato or uh, put it in with your mac and cheese and your mac and cheese is going to be all good and happy so we're going to just pour, set that, serve that up just like that we'll set this off to the side because they will be back for more so we're going to put this in there just like that and tell me is that not ready for some football entertainment? Thank you for joining me today in the kitchens of Smoky Mountain Cheese. I uh, hope you try this dish. It's, it's got all kinds of awesome flavor bursting. And my guests cannot wait to dig into this. So let's go, uh, let's go watch some football. Thank you.